Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Arena. We are here in the Fortress of Ice still. We uh, pretty much killed everybody out here in the barracks, I think. Yeah, though it looks like I've missed a couple of rooms here. Oh god. <laughs> this, guy, this guy surprised me a little bit. I should probably rest. Because I'm out of magic. I'm having a hell of a time hitting this guy. Um. Yeah, so uh, I decided not to go back. It's gonna suck it up, and you know whatever we can't take, we can't take. So be it. Not the uh, the end of the world. Good God! <laughs> Forgot how many hits these guys take. We need a we need a better weapon, I think. Uh, ideally one that we can use. Would be uh would be swell game if you were feeling so uh, inclined. What the hell am I carrying? Well, we don't need that. And we don't need that. And my inventory is actually really is pretty full, huh? All right. So be it. I have a feeling we're probably, unless the, the next floor is like really big, I have a feeling we're almost, almost done with uh, with the Fortress of Ice here. So, well, some stuff here. Uh, this is dead to me. And we'll grab that helm if we can. I think we should be able to. Yes, indeed. Okay. So I'm just going to roll back here and, uh, yep, take a look in, uh, in these. Let's see. Let's use, uh, a little wizard's fire on these guys. Just, uh... To try and make my life a little easier here. Now it's interesting. Uh, this version of the game came with the uh, the Codex Scientia, as it's called, which is kind of like the hint guide for the game. And I looked up those ice golems, and allegedly they're immune to shock, according to that. Clearly, that is not the case, uh, unless there's some kind of bug that was introduced uh, in the uh, uh, version of the game that this is patched to, or and maybe it's a typo, and they got some the descriptions mixed up or something. Uh, you know, I'm really, uh, I'm really not sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much I can trust that in the future, as far as monster information goes. Uh, ooh, a round shield. I would love to take that. And a kite shield. Okay. Well, is that hat magical? It is not. Goodbye, hat. I have no need of thee. Let us come back over this way and we will loot this man again. And there's nothing in there really. There's one last room here. I think that's where a guy came out. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, all right. Where'd you come from? I actually don't know. Uh, here you go. Have some, some ring of shocking. A little wizard's fire. And then I shall smack you in the face. Excellent. Alright. Now I'm going to try and rest, <laughs> as I said I was going to do. If I can find a, uh, a spot. Here we are. Go ahead and uh, we'll just save this real quick. Up we go. And here we are. All right, let's get this going again. And then we'll get the uh, the nightlight and we'll get the, uh, let's put up the cold resistance now uh, rather than later. And continue on our merry way here. So hopefully no more of these guys show up. Uh, there are rooms on the right as well, I guess, I could be checking out, at least. There's this door here, which will lead to something, I'm sure. Ah, yes, I'm glad I have Resist Cold on. <laughs> uh, there's just a bunch of nothing. Well, if that was the barracks, uh, maybe this is going to be the kennel <laughs> or something. That leads back out uh, to the central area. Oh, hello, fellas. Ooh, we leveled up. Nice. Uh, 
The manual does mention that like spell reflection would be good against these guys, and I can see that being the case. Oh, just enough to max out in. There we go. Um, yeah, I can kind of see that being being the case, but uh, we don't have such a spell, at least not yet. We will eventually, probably. Is that a door? No, it's just a just a fancy looking wall, I guess. So be it. Well, there's definitely wolves in here. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. They always seem to come in pairs, too. And a little bit of treasure in this central area. All right. Uh, do I trust this pit? It's probably fine. Oh, and there's a wolf right there, too. <laughs> Alright, let's jump across. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. So, I didn't create a create floor spell. Which is possibly worth noting. Uh, can I just grab that from, like, here? Yes. Yes, I can. Alright, can't grab the, uh, the greaves. Let's see if, uh... Da da da. We'll just get rid of you, I guess. And try to grab these. Oh god. Get back up there. So I guess I should make a create floor spell. That's the lesson here. Oh, god damn it. I wonder if I can. No, not really. <laughs> uh really does not want me to have these these greaves. There we go. Good God. Probably not even magical. That's the worst part. All right. Well, there's not really too much of anything else going on here, I guess. So let's get the heck out of here. And I suppose, well, there is a that little bit to the north. I guess I should look at that real fast. Not expecting there to be too much over there. Uh, but we'll look. We have found wolves. Amazing. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Except for some easy experience points, I guess. Yeah, I actually don't know. I mean, the, the snow wolves are a fairly weak enemy. Um, even though they seem to be possibly the most dangerous enemy we've ever faced. <laughs> um... But, uh, yeah, so they're not worth a lot of XP, but I think the, uh... Actually, you want to go back this way. Uh, I don't know, I think the... At least I'm hoping the humans, which, uh... As far as I understand it, scale to our level. Uh, I'm hoping those guys are at least worth a decent amount of XP, always. But I'm not really sure how that scales. Uh, okay. Let's go, I think the, uh, the thing was this way. So let's take a, a look over here. If I can... There we go. Take a look over here. Uh, we'll deal with some wolves here. And, uh... See if we can find those stairs again. Yeah, there we go. So the best way to get to them is actually gonna... I gotta turn around. I guess we could explore the... North, uh, eastern section of this map a little bit as well, if we really want to. Can't think of a reason not to. Other than, there's probably not going to be anything there. <laughs> God damn it. Turn around. Did I miss something, or is that just not... No, that, that's allegedly a hole on the map, but... Uh, yeah, it won't let me in there. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to solve this problem another way, I guess. There we go. Much better. Now, is there anything else worth looking at in here? I don't know. I guess we can just take a quick peek up here. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, prepare for wizard's fire. Prepare for uh, pokes of fire. If I can get close enough to you, that is. Oh, I guess uh, did I failed to cast the spell. I'm not sure. Maybe I got him already. Uh, let's band-aid up here. Put that back on, and we're probably we're not going to have enough magic to do anything else. 
So be it. These guys, I'm having a little bit more success with uh, hitting, it feels like. All right, back up a little bit here. Eventually, there'll be no more knights left here. Tonto, buckler. Unless I see like a, uh, a round shield, I guess I'm not too worried, or like a mace or something. Well, there's a treasure chest here. I guess that's worth looking at. What does this say as far as uh, lock lock picking goes? There's nothing to fear for me. Is that so? Haha. <laughs> uh, how do you like me now? And we got a crystal out of it, so that could be worth a, a fair bit of money. A lot of the crystals I've found have been worth a good couple thousand gold, so. And this leads to nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, you got me, game. Okay, so back out this way, and then take a look up here real fast. Oh, good, more knights. Just what I always wanted to see. Uh, more wizard's fire is required, I think. More rings of shocking. I feel like the ring of shocking maybe does more damage than the fire does, but I'm not sure. And we can always get these repaired later as well. Let's go ahead and heal up here. Put that on, and we're pretty much out of MP at this point. So we might want to consider a, uh, a rest fairly uh, fairly soon if we can. Oh, two round shields, but I can't carry them both. So we will look at our inventory. Uh, these are not magical, so goodbye. And didn't I? I thought I picked up a round shield. Did I not? Ebony dagger, chain helm. We got all my armor. Um. Got a bunch of belts, torques, amulets. Okay. I guess I did it. Pick up the shield. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I don't know. I'm confusing myself. Not worried about a flail, so I'll leave that there, and this is no good either. We're already level 12, too. Look at that. Oh, treasure. Hello. Another round shield. Well, you shouldn't have. What about this one? Is this one magical? Uh, it is not. Okay. Well, good enough. Hopefully no more knights. Kind of getting sick of fighting those guys just because they take so long to kill. I'm worried my mace is going to break too. That would be real bad for uh, being able to complete this dungeon. Although we do have our ebony dagger, which is actually probably slightly better. We would lose the agility though. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, no, I'm not. Much to my surprise. So I want to go through here, and uh, I want to grab that treasure for sure. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Band-Aid. Uh. <laughs> Gotta use, uh. Da -da -da. Mark of shielding. Potion of healing, maybe. Couple, uh. Restore powers here, I think. Okay. Get this buffer spell back up so I can get the fuck out, out of this. Oh, you never were mind. a fool to confront me, and now I have paid the ultimate price. Even now, my servants go to fetch your mortal outlook. You will serve me well through my years as emperor, once I have made you undead. Perhaps I will even let you retain some of your memories, so that the price of your failure has meaning to you. Okay. <laughs> well, if I didn't die, we never would have saw that, probably. Uh, unfortunately, it's been a while since I've saved. So, oh god, yeah. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to redo some stuff. Uh, I might skip doing some of this exploring, honestly. And this loot has actually changed too, which is interesting. 
Tell you what, let's uh, let's just get out of here. Because I didn't miss anything too terribly amazing or exciting. While exploring, I could go back and try to find all those loot piles, but eh, it's not that big a deal in the end. So, I want to go... Actually, I want to go back through here. And then go, th uh, then go around this way, I think. So I can get back to the central area, finally, at long last. Uh, then I want to jump across... Yeah, jump across here. Excuse me, I'd like to jump across. There we go. And then I would like to kill these guys before they kill me again. And then... I'm going to try and make a wall bashing type situation right over here. Which will allow me to uh, get to where I'd like to go. Much easier. Okay. Oh, we do have these guys standing guard, so be it. I will defeat them in righteous melee combat. Am I uh, still... Yeah, I'm still resistant to cold even, too. I, maybe it ran out by the time I saw those other wolves, though. Come on. Oh, lost their shield. So we'll... Uh, Put that back up. Eventually, yeah, I was going to say, eventually these guys have to die. And we're not worried about that. And I'm not worried about that. Down we go. So now the question is... How big is this floor? <laughs> oh, hello. These are just regular wolves, I think. Much safer. <laughs> uh, oh, yep. Yeah. I guess this is where they train them to become snow wolves or something. Not quite sure how that works, but, uh... Ooh, okay. So you are an actual problem. Let's, uh... Get the old ring of shocking out. Tag you with a couple of these. I don't know if I can hurt you. It seems like I kind of can't. Here we go, you are dead. Treasure. A kite shield. I'll take it. For now. Nowhere safe to rest down here, it looks like. There we go. Here we have a lock. No problem. Got a bracelet out of that. I uh, tell you what, let's uh <laughs> not make the same mistake twice. Hmm, I do wonder where this is going to take me. This is going to take me nowhere useful. But maybe this way will be a different story? Yeah, I can go this way, like so. And, oh, i got to deal with you real fast before I die. And then we'll see if we can open this. Greaves are a little bit too heavy. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff here. What do we got? We got that we can get rid of. We got that we can get rid of. And then we'll grab those. Where have I ended up here? Completely separate room. It seems like this area is a little bit smaller, so that is good. And the treasure is a little bit lighter <laughs> down here. Not as much uh, plate, it seems like. Oh god, that's a lot of wolves. Uh, Band-Aid. Buffer. And destroy all of the enemies. Alright. Well, we're slowly looting the crap out of this place. And, yeah, we can get rid of this guy. And we'll take that instead. Hmm. 
Okay. Hello. I think I'm gonna just go straight across here instead of uh, going through the tunnel. Can go that way, and that leads to a whole lot of nothing. It does look kind of cool down here, I guess. All right, we are. I think we're taking damage. I'm gonna. Let's just go ahead and use some potions real quick. Just to uh, get us back in a good spot. And we actually did run out of resist cold, so that's why we're taking so much damage now. So that should help. All right. More wolves? No more wolves. At least not for now. Guess I'm gonna go this way. Try to explore this southern edge as much as I can here. Ooh, yep, more wolves, no problem. And lots of stuff in here, although uh, it's all too heavy. Uh, well, let's see here. Oh, that longsword is magical. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna leave, leave that loot where it is. And, uh... Continue on my merry way here. This looks like it could be something, according to the map. Uh, it's not. <laughs> Can't do anything with those. Just a little bit of water. I guess maybe that's supposed to be uh, their well, maybe. Maybe their bathhouse. I don't know. One or the uh, one or the other. Hopefully not both. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go around this way and try to explore this edge a little bit. Can I go west more? I could. But I think I'm going to end up running into a dead end if I do. So I'm going to just go across instead. Hello. <laughs> Good doggy. Play dead, etc., etc. Oh. Take care of you. Was there another one here? No. Okay. Just double checking. 16 gold pieces. I'll take that. That's the kind of loot I like to see. Stuff that I can actually carry without any uh, real trouble. Okay. More wolves. Nothing there. Where the hell is my damn quest item? <laughs> I, I, oh, I have no idea. Oh, is, could this be it? Maybe? No. Silver longsword, though. Uh, again, I'm just going to leave that there. It's not going to be worth too... Oh, this is interesting. It's not going to be worth too much more than... Um, than a regular longsword. Uh, unless it has like a really good magic enchantment or something, which... Doesn't seem particularly likely. Oh, is there another floor to this? No, that's a door. Oh, God. Riddles. I touch your face. I'm in your words. I'm a lack of space. And beloved birds. Uh, air? I guess. Hey, I did it. I finally got a riddle. I marked down the, uh... Mark the day down on the calendar. Let's just deal with you real fast. Yeah, I'll try some of this. Yeah, we'll do another one of those. This guy is tough. What? You are a uh, ice golem, right? Yeah. Um. Well, more ring of shocking. There is my tablet piece. Okay. Well, this is good. Uh, flail, dwarven longsword, torque plate helm. And uh, the item that I seek right here, by the looks of things. You have found the tablet that Thelen Karn spoke of. Once he has hold of it, he can use it to decipher the location of the Labyrinthian. Excellent. What can I drop? Uh, I will take the... Uh, uh, the Dwarven uh, Longsword, if I can here. I guess I'll just drop one of these other ones.
And uh, was there anything here? Plate helm? Let's take a look. It is magical. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know if weapons are more valuable than... than uh, any other type of loot or not. So we'll just get rid of, the, get rid of one of these other long swords. Oh god, there's no room! <laughs> god damn it. If I go here... God damn it. Oh, old school inventory management. How tedious are the. All right, give me the dwarven longsword. Hopefully, it's not any heavier so I can actually carry the damn thing. I'm not going to even worry about the flail because I will never use it. Since it's just a regular flail, and now we're going to get the hell out of here, I think. Uh, how do I do that, though? I guess I go this way. And get stuck right here. Then that's, uh, that's good. All going according to plan. Uh, what if I turn this way and do one of these? Am I getting attacked? Yes, I am. My, my lights went out, too. I'm gonna leave that wolf there, I think. <laughs> and, uh, just continue this way for now. And, you know what? Let's, uh, save the game as well, just to be especially cautious. This actually leads to nothing. God damn it. Well, I have a solution. Once again, I think if I go right about here, yes indeed. Let's go ahead and use uh, a couple more of those. And, oh shit. <laughs> What's up, fellas? How you doing? I, uh... I was just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> no matter. I will defeat them. In good time. Eventually. Someday. How many of them are there? Four? That's what it looks like to me, roughly. Oh, only three. Even better. Alright, he's broken through the buffer, and well, we'll just put up a new one and uh, keep wailing on him until uh, he falls over as well. What are these guys? Are just uh, yeah, just warriors? Okay, you got a claymore. You've got a short sword and a buckler. Just gonna leave that right there. Hello to you. I have defeated your fellows. Perhaps you should consider fleeing. Instead of trying to karate chop me to death with plain gauntlets. Just a suggestion, you do you. I will, uh... Be content one way or another. Oh, hey, you actually karate chopped your way through my buffer, though. And I don't have enough to put up another one. One of these days, you will fall over. Yes, there we go. Alrighty. Do another one of those, just to be safe. Is there anything over there? Kind of looks like there might be. Let's, uh, sure, let's take a quick look. Yeah, there's a chest and another chest and a little bit of other treasure here. So we may as well take a look. Oh, inventory full. R.A.P. in peace. And a ring. I'm gonna drop... I think I'm gonna drop a couple of these helmets. A little bit of a risk, because they could be worth more. Since they probably have stats on them of some kind. But, uh... 
rings and bracelets could be quite good as well. So I think I'd rather have those. All right. Hopefully uh, we dry off quick because it's going to be awfully chilly where we're headed, I expect. Okay, there's where I need to be. We have uh, more potions. I'm going to use them <laughs> while I can here to just make my own doors and get the fuck out of here, I hope. Go down like so. And I just heard something, but I don't know what that was. Hopefully I can go through here, though. And, yeah, sort of get to where I want to go. I know, actually, I can definitely get to where I want to go. I'm just going to go right across here. And there we go. We're out. And then the exit is actually quite easy to get to as well. Just got to do another one of those. Deal with uh, that dog real quick and get the hell out of here. Oh, one more. There we go. Aha, success. Okay, back to Winterhold. And it's dark outside. Uh, what time is it? Uh, 9-11 at night. Well. Uh-oh. We've been spotted. <laughs> well, I'll try resting outside. Why not? Um, let's uh, camp. Right out the gate where we just tried to break into someone's home for, uh, say, 12 hours. Hello there. You are uh, awfully quick. But I suspect not quick enough. Indeed. And he's got a mace. And we'll camp for like another eight hours. We are fully healed now. Oh, we got a zombie to deal with, though. Let's go ahead and we'll just cast that. And we got diseased right at the end there. Amazing. Luckily, we can uh, deal with it quite uh, easily. So we got to camp for uh, a few more hours here. Anyone, anyone else? I don't see any enemies. What if I just go this way? Oh, another zombie. We could cast, uh, maybe some poke of fire on him. That works out pretty well. Okay, daytime. Excellent. Well, we've made it. I guess I better go get some of this stuff I deed. <laughs> oh. The bargain shoppers of the known world are out in force today, and it is little wonder for the tenth of sun's height is a holiday called the Merchant's Festival. Every marketplace and equipment store has dropped their prices to at least half. The only shop not being patronized today is the Mages Guild, where prices are as exorbitant as usual. Most citizens in need of a magical item are waiting two months for the celebration of Tales and Tallows, when prices will be more reasonable. Hmm, good to know, I guess. Um, I guess I'm gonna go shopping after, uh, I get stuff identified. But uh, for now, let's just pop right over to the Mages Guild real quick. And uh, give our uh, our mage buddy the good news, yeah? Uh, I think the entrance is on this side. Or is it not? It is not. I'm in the backyard. <laughs> not quite. No, oh, god damn it. Not quite where I want to be. Okay.
Hello, I have a uh, special delivery for you. I had hoped and prayed for your safe return. I see you were successful. Your deeds will be sung among the tales of heroes. If you will wait a moment, I will give you what I promised. Thelen fits the piece into a larger tablet, then reads what is written. He gestures for your map. With a feather pen, he inscribes the location of the Labyrinthian somewhere in the Skyrim province onto your map. Anything new? My inventory is full. Never mind. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get stuff identified and uh, maybe do some shopping. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably do most all of that off screen. But uh, yeah, finally done with uh, the Fortress of Ice. And then uh, next up, I guess we have to find uh, the Labyrinthian or actually travel to the Labyrinthian. Probably want to do a little bit more preparing before we do that, though.